Does this world we live in ever confuse you? Today in Psalm 73, we have someone who's confused to begin with. The psalmist writes that God's good, praises God for that in his first verse, but then straight away he it describes his own personal experience and he says, but, but, but I'd, nearly, I'd nearly lost my footing because I just didn't understand it. What was going on? Why were there so many arrogant, wicked people getting away with things that were obviously so wrong? Just the previous weekend, there were those horrific stabbings in Reading. Was it the same day or the day after Father's Day? And there was a father with his two children and their dog walking, all killed by a drunk driver. Sometimes when we look at the world, it really does puzzle us because it seems that there's so much wrong and people seem to be getting away with it. The psalmist felt like this when he says in verse 16, when I try to understand all this, he said, it, it, just, it just floored me. I couldn't get to grips with what was going on. But then he says immediately in verse 17, till I entered the sanctuary of God. Then I understood these wicked, arrogant people's final destiny. Those that refuse to bow the knee to God. Those that refuse to humble themselves and repent of the wicked things they do. And the psalmist it goes on to describe how uh, there will be terrible judgment for them ultimately. So in the world, we uh, do despair at times when we read, hear of the news, but we're not ultimately to despair. We're to see that God is in charge. He's in control, even when it doesn't feel like it. Uh, life here seems to us the be-all and end-all, when of course it's not. It's just a blip compared to all of eternity. And yet for those of us that know God, trust God, that's the best place to be in. Because the psalmist goes on to describe wonderful things. The best thing, of course, is that God's always with us. He talks about how he's always there and will guide us by his right hand. Gives us counsel, direction and leading and protection. But then look at this last wonderful verse. This is where we should always land when we're ever confused in this world seemingly of injustice. Let's land here, let me read it to close. But as for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell all your deeds. Oh, what great place for us to be in that very last verse, believing that to be our experience also.